Hi, I'm Maimai, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. Sorry I haven't been doing many of these videos lately, I've been very busy. But in this video, I want to show you, or rather, give you ideas on how to repair damage to the front end of your car frame, or fix a bent frame. Now recently, my brother Oswald was involved in a car accident where, I guess, the front end of his car went under uh, another car. And you can see the damage to his car is extensive. You know, there's broken light, uh, broken condenser, uh, radiators kind of set back. And of course you have to replace the grill. And let's not even forget the hood. The hood was crumpled. And as you can see here, this uh, frame is also bent. So you can see it came all the way up to the battery. And what we want to do now is we want to uh, try to bend this frame uh, a bit back or towards the front so that we can uh, get to the other parts to fix it. And so our goal is to replace the radiator support bar or the upper tie bar. And in order to do that, we have to pull the uh, the frame forwards and so here's the idea here we have a chain we got it from Harbor Freight Tools this is a 516 chain um, it can handle 2,000 pounds I maybe a quarter uh, uh, one fourth would be good too. that could handle like a thousand pounds even though the car is more than a thousand pounds it, we all, all we need is enough force to pull this forward um, so 516 is good for you and if you need to attach it then you can use a grab hook. In our case, you can see that we've just looped it around and then we've tied it together using a, this, um, uh, this fastener right here. What oh, this lock right here. And then, oh, this quick link. Okay, sorry, I forgot the name. And what we've done is we've attached it to, we've looped the chain around this tree. And so because the car can move, all we've done is we've, we've attached the chain to the car, got in the car, and reversed it. And maybe we can get a video of what that looks like, uh, maybe not, but we'll overlay it just to see. Now if the car doesn't move, then you can use another car to pull the uh, chain. So for example, with our SUV, on the front bottom of it, you can see that the, there's these metal loops. There's one on this side and one on the other side. What you could do is you could attach the chains, you could loop the chains through both of these, and then you could attach it to the car. But the thing is, what we want to do is we want to make sure that when we attach the chain to the frame, we want to make sure that the chain is either level or higher than where we attach it to the car. Uh, so if you do end up using an SUV and you use the bottom points, make sure you um, use you put the you make sure that the chain goes upwards like you put it over a bench or something just to make sure that it's at least level or higher than the car or maybe you could use like a truck and a truck usually is higher uh, and has like a tow point that you can hook it up to okay so we don't know how the exactly the frame looked like when it was not broken so we're going to use this reference point right here this is what it looked like what this is not damaged so we can use a distance of about 20 inches to see what this side should be. It looks like it's about 19 and a half here. I'm, I'm uh, doing it from the front edge. So we need about another half inch of bend. And of course we need to bend it forward at the middle. That's probably the part that's most important. But we're just going to bend it here first. All right, so we're going to move this to the middle. When you're doing this, make sure you don't remove the Okay. When you're doing this, make sure you don't remove the rest of the frame. Uh, like, for example, don't remove the upper tie bar. You really want to try to pull this as one whole frame. That way, it, this, um, this front side is constrained to the rest of the frame. And let's say you remove the radiator uh, support bar. If you only pull this part, the only thing that's holding it together is this part of the frame. And that might bend too much if you just use one point of uh, secure. In other words, the way it is right now, it's more constrained so that when you pull it, it's less likely to bend in ways that you don't want it to. And bend it around the radiator.
All right, so as we see, the it looks completely different than before. The middle is much more pulled back. Of course, it looks still bent. There's nothing we can do to fix what it looks like. But of course, there's a bit more space in the middle. Uh, measuring the 20 inches on the other side. Okay, still looks like we need another half inch. Um, we're going to try to pull it a bit more on this side. Um, and we're going to get a new radiator support and see if that fits. Hopefully there's enough leeway to uh, install it. But we don't want to push the frame too much or else it's going to totally break. All right, so if we do if we do end up fixing the car, we'll do a video on it, obviously. Um, but for now, that's just some ideas on how to fix it. Now, this video might be important, especially for people who have minimum insurance or minimum coverage, uh, which means that their insurance won't cover getting the uh, car getting repaired. So you might end up doing it yourself. Um, I remember that when um, when Asfa first came home with the car, but first off, I was I was still at Brown, but. My dad was taking a look at it, he was talking to me about it, and he was asking me, okay, how do we repair it? And of course, me, being uh, being where I am right now, uh, I, I was saying like, maybe there's too much damage to the car, you don't want to touch anything, like what if there's something like left, like hidden, that you can't see that might end up like affecting the car entirely. But, I did say, but if we did end up fixing the car, the first thing we need to do is pull this front bracket out. And so, my dad took out the chain. And so that's where we are right now. Um, and uh, we're, going to make, we're going to make it work. So check out my next video on trying to repair this car. Uh, thankfully, for Asfa, we're a family of mechanics, so we can uh, have a go at fixing this car. It's gonna be our, I guess, our project for this summer. So go check out those videos, and I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Iman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Look at our videos on IMM, and especially the auto repair videos. And I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Iman, and signing out. Mama, give me love. Come, give me love. Give me the love I need. Mama, give me love. Come, give me love. Without it, I can't succeed. Mama, give me love, give me love to set me free in this life. Mama, give me love, give me love so I may pull the foot right inside. So many times, you know, I tried to find the moral in the story I'm told. Tried to follow the path of life Mama, give me love I called to know.